within proton estimation, once an observed, calculated, or estimated time study has been performed, we can go into the reports menu and generate reports for each of these studies. Here if I go to the observed time tab, you can see the study that has been completed. To generate an observed time report, we will go to the reports menu and select the observed time report. Here you can see some specific features that have been populated from our observed time report, including the allowances, as well as the non-value added, semi-value added, and value added times, task summaries for each of the tasks, and then the individual observations of each task that was collected in our observed time report. If I go back to the observed time study, here you can see the allowances that were populated within the report, and here you can see the observations. You'll notice collect to filter is observation one and two, which was populated within the observed time report. For a calculated time study, I'm going to generate a report for our second task here. When generating a report, you don't have to be under the correct tab but I wanted to do so in order to demonstrate some things here as I select the calculated time report. So here we're selecting a report for a given task. I want to do one on removing the caps. You'll see that these five tasks correlate to the five tasks up in our time data window. So if I select remove caps, a report will be generated that correlates to that task. Here you can see a summary of the times and the allowances set for that task, as well as the individual elements of the task from pro time estimation. If we exit out of this report, here you can see the allowance that was being used in the report, and below in the elements table are all the elements of that given task. When generating reports, the observed time report and the calculated time report give brief summary statistics of each of those reports. If we select time study report, the report will give us visual tools that will help us analyze our study further. So here if we select the observed time type and click OK, you can see that the report includes a lot more visual information, including a pie chart of the different tasks, a Pareto analysis, and towards the bottom of the report is a man-machine chart. For more information on man-machine charts and how to better utilize man-machine charts within ProTime estimation, see our man-machine charts video. At the bottom of the time study report is a brief description of each of the tasks within that report. The individual reports of observed time report and calculated time report break down each of those tasks by element types and observation types, giving more detailed information in those categories, but not showing as much of the visual tools that can be used to further enhance the reports and display the graphical information. One last thing I want to point out is that within the time study report, we can select a time standard rank report. This takes information based on the time standard rank that we have set within the options menu. To see how to set this time standard rank, watch our options menu video. Currently, I have the time standard rank set as observed time, then calculated time, and then estimated time. This means that when I run the report, ProTime Estimation will look for times for a given task first within the observed time tab. If no times for that task are present, then ProTime Estimation will look in the calculated time tab. If a time for that task is not in the observed time tab or the calculated time tab, then ProTime Estimation will use the estimated time when generating the report. If we run this report, you will see that the report is very similar to the observed time report that we ran before. However, it's pulling information from all three tabs within ProTime Estimation. To learn more about editing the report template, and different tools that can be used within the reports, please see our Using the Report Controls feature video. I also want to point out an important difference between the time study report and running an observed time report or a calculated time report. 
Take note that the tack time in this time study report is listed as 44.03 seconds. If I exit out of this report and go to the task window, here I can see the task sequence of all the tasks I've performed within this study. Currently, the sequence is set linearly. The frequency of all tasks is one, and no tasks are listed as internal to any other tasks. If I want to set up my study more like a workstation, and perhaps task three is an internal to task two, I can set that here within the task sequence window. When I run my report, if I select the time study report and run it again, I can see that the total time for my time study report has changed. This allows me to better model my time study according to the activities that the operator is doing within the workstation. However, if I run an observed time report, the time has remained the same at 44.03 seconds. This is because the observed time report is simply adding all the times from my time study. The different functionalities between the time study report and the observed time report or the calculated time report give the user multiple options on how they want to view the data and better utilize pro time estimation.